Have you noticed the swanky trend that's taking over the skies lately? It's all about caviar in first class. More and more airlines are jumping on this luxury bandwagon, serving up this exquisite delicacy to their first class passengers. The skies are becoming a haven for caviar enthusiasts. In this video, let's dive into this trend and look at some of the airlines that serve caviar in first class and in the end, I'll tell you which one's my favorite and why. Caviar is nothing but fish eggs, specifically the eggs of sturgeon. Sturgeons are a family of large, long-lived fish. The beluga sturgeon can grow over 20 feet in length and live over 100 years. Airbus did not name their super transporter beluga after the beluga sturgeon, but after the beluga whale. So if it's just fish eggs, why is it so damn expensive and considered a delicacy? Like we talked about earlier, caviar is made from sturgeon eggs and sturgeons are not found in abundance. In fact, certain varieties like beluga, savruga and nocetra are extremely rare. The process of harvesting caviar is delicate and time consuming. It requires skilled labor and careful handling to ensure the eggs are not damaged. Like fine wines, caviar's flavor develops with age. The processing and aging require expertise and time, adding to its exclusivity. Caviar has a unique, complex, and a nuanced flavor profile. It's known for its delicate fish flavor, which is rich yet subtle. Depending on the type of sturgeon, caviar can have a buttery or a nutty taste, or even a creamy and a briny taste. The texture of caviar plays a significant role in its appeal. The eggs are firm, yet burst gently in the mouth, releasing their flavorful contents. This unique texture adds to the sensory experience of eating caviar. Historically, caviar was a delicacy reserved for royalty and aristocracy, which adds to its luxurious image. Because of this traditionally associated luxury and exclusivity, the inclusion of caviar in airline menus has been a symbol of the airline's efforts to offer a sophisticated and luxurious travel experience to its first-class passengers.
Let's first examine the proper way to serve caviar and then look at how this is being adapted by airlines for their in-flight service. Many airlines offer caviar as a chilled delicacy, but certain airlines enhance this with a visual element. For instance, Oman Air serves their chilled caviar in a frozen bowl, elevating the overall sensory and visual experience for the passengers. Thai Airways' first class goes a step further by presenting their caviar atop ice cubes in a seashell, creating a visually stunning display. When serving high-quality caviar, there's no need to conceal the name and container. Just proudly display them like Oman Air, Thai, Japan Airlines, Etihad, and Cathay Pacific. Emirates and Lufthansa, on the contrary, present a generous portion of caviar without its original container, which may not be visually appealing, but the size of the serving is something I appreciate. Garuda Indonesia's caviar presentation initially looked promising, but the serving size was disappointingly small and the eggs appeared somewhat crushed. Let's talk about serving utensils. Using metallic utensils to serve or to eat caviar is a big no. When caviar comes into contact with metal, particularly silver, the metal can import a metallic taste to the caviar, altering its delicate and subtle flavor. A mother of pearl spoon is a type of utensil traditionally used for serving and eating delicate foods like caviar. It's made from the inner layer of pearl-producing mollusks shells known as mother of pearl. Mother of pearl is chemically inert and does not alter the taste of caviar. While Japanese cuisine is celebrated for its sushi, sashimi, seaweed, and a wide array of seafood, caviar isn't traditionally included. Interestingly, Japan Airlines and ANA serve caviar in a rather unconventional manner using metal spoons. It seems that with the advent of modern times and global influences, these airlines have chosen to introduce caviar into their first-class menus. Another airline that does not provide mother-of-pearl spoons with its caviar is the well-known European carrier Lufthansa. In my experience, across the four first-class flights that I've flown with Lufthansa, at least I've never received one. Blinis are small pancakes that serve as a base for eating caviar. Blinis have a mild, slightly buttery taste that does not overpower the delicate flavor of caviar. The use of blinis with caviar is a classic and traditional pairing, particularly in Russian and Eastern European cuisines. This tradition has now been adopted worldwide and most airlines that serve caviar serve them with blinis. Next time you're served caviar with blinis, take a moment to touch the blinis to gauge their texture. Are they cold and stiff or warm and tender? This can tell a lot about the quality of service you're receiving. Would you prefer eating a cold pancake straight from the fridge, or would you rather warm it up slightly for a better taste? A warmed up blini would be a much more delightful accompaniment, offering a gentle contrast to the cool, refined texture of caviar. The warmth not only enhances the taste, but also adds a touch of luxury and thoughtfulness to the service, making the experience more enjoyable and memorable. Based on my experiences, Etihad stood out as the sole airline to serve warm blinis in their A380 first class apartment. Another option for the base is lightly buttered toast, which Lufthansa uses in their caviar service. However, what really caught my attention was Thai Airways' choice of unsalted crackers paired with their caviar. The crunchy texture of the crackers beautifully complemented the saltiness of the caviar, making the entire bite delightful. Next, let's turn our attention to the most visually striking aspect, the toppings. Commonly, these include creme fraiche, finely chopped onions, chives, crumbled egg whites and yolks, capers and a slice of lemon. The manner in which these toppings are arranged significantly boosts the visual charm of the overall caviar experience. Lemon is often covered with a cloth when served with caviar to prevent the lemon seeds from accidentally falling into the caviar and also to control the amount of juice being squeezed and it also adds to the refined and elegant presentation. Emirates provides a generous quantity of toppings but only three blinis which might lead you to believe you need to pile all the toppings onto a single blini. However, that's not the case. It's important to use the toppings sparingly so as not to overshadow the caviar's flavor. Before we delve into the specifics of topping a blini, let's explore the beverages that pair well with caviar. Number one is chilled vodka. Vodka has a clean, neutral taste that does not overpower the caviar. 
Its cool temperature and smoothness makes it an ideal companion. While almost all the airlines offer chilled vodka, Thai Airways went above and beyond by bringing a frozen shot glass and pouring chilled vodka right in front of me. This added a special touch to the whole experience. Champagne is another great pairing. Champagne's crispness and effervescence cleanse the palate and balance the saltiness of the caviar. In fact, this is where most airlines show off. Japan Airlines serves Salon 2013, a $1,500 bottle of champagne on their flights leaving Tokyo. Emirates serves Dom Perignon and Singapore Airlines serves Krug. Now let's get into the most interesting part. How to load a blini. When adding toppings to caviar, there's a traditional order that is often followed to ensure each component complements rather than overwhelms the delicate flavor of caviar. So start with the blini which is the base of the caviar. Add a small dollop of creme fraiche. This helps counterbalance the briny flavor of caviar. Next, with the mother of pearl spoon, delicately place the main attraction, the caviar, on top. Then sprinkle a small amount of finely chopped onion or chives on top. The onions are for the crunchiness. If you want to add your egg whites or egg yolk crumbles, add them next. They add a nice color and a subtle flavor. If the airline provides capers, add them next. They add a nice tangy vinegary pop. In fact, capers are my favorite topping. Out of all the caviar services, only Oman Air First Class provided capers. Finally, squeeze some lemon for some brightness. Remember, the most crucial aspect is to use each topping sparingly. Caviar should be the main focus of the pipe. Definitely avoid overdoing it like someone I know did. And by someone, I mean me. I was most impressed by Oman Air. Their presentation struck the perfect balance with adequate amount of blinis and proportionate toppings all arranged in a visually captivating manner. The most unusual caviar experience I've ever had was in Singapore Airlines Suites. It was breakfast time and I ordered eggs and guess what I get? A heap of caviar piled right on top of scrambled eggs. I mean, their intentions were good, aiming to provide a touch of luxury with caviar, but the way they went about it was quite amusing in its execution. Here's how I rank the different airlines based on the first class caviar service. The ranking is based on the amount of effort each airline puts into making their caviar service a memorable experience. I hope you found this video useful and if you're traveling first class, you now know what to expect from different airlines and how to enjoy caviar with sophistication and elegance. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and press the notification bell to stay updated with my latest videos. Thank you.